Welcome to YouTuber Headlines. I'm Oakley, and today we're covering Love Meg. So much is going down over on her video website. She went private on Instagram, and she just posted a goodbye video. Love Meg left YouTube, I would say eight or nine months ago, and she tried to leave with a bang. She tried to take down commentary channels, but... That didn't happen. Come on, we knew that wouldn't happen. Justin and Meg sold their house and pretty much everything they owned, they had a small storage unit full of stuff. They traveled for less than six months and now they're back. Lately, she's been talking about their new house on Instagram. She didn't say buy a house. She's not saying renting. She's being vague. So let's read some of her comments. A viewer said, can't wait to see what your new home looks like and how you decorate it. Love Meg said, thank you. We moved in with it furnished and decorated and everything. And the style is literally like all my houses came together. It couldn't have been more perfect for us. Then she posted this video to her website. It says settling into the new house. We are settling into our new home. It was move in ready for us, which made things super nice. The style is like all of our homes came together and had a baby LOL. It couldn't have been more perfect for us. I'll zoom in so you can see a closer shot of some of the rooms, the living room, the bedroom. <laughs> And she took a picture of a picture frame and a vase. After this video went up on her platform, it soon disappeared. At this point, viewers didn't know if Love Meg was forced to take the video down by the homeowners, if something was up with the website and just not allowing her to post, or if Love Meg took the video down. So viewers started leaving comments on her Instagram account. This viewer said, I got a notification that your new house video was up on lovemeg.video, but I can't find it. I'm a member. I thought I was going crazy, and I swore I saw one gone up too. Must be editing again or something. The video link is broken. Trying to join Love Meg Video, but there's no sign up page. Any ideas? When all of this was going on, they also cut off subscriptions, so you could no longer subscribe to this video platform. So, of course, her paying customers were confused. This was the first video she's posted in April. Remember when she started this website? She promised two to seven videos a week, and she is not fulfilling that promise. Here, but I can give a definite two to seven videos a week. I'm not even kidding. Two to seven videos a week over there on lovemag.video, and that is guaranteed. She didn't follow through with that promise. That was a lie because she never consistently posted two to seven videos on lovemag.video. A viewer said, did you delete the decorate new house video that was on your channel earlier this evening? I went back to watch it and I don't see it. I got the email that it was available and then it wasn't. I got the same email. Maybe she'll see these comments. I believe Love Meg definitely saw the comments about this video, but she did not respond to any of them. And I can't check her comment section at this point because she's gone private on Instagram. So I pulled all of those screenshots over the weekend. Also, people have been asking questions about her dogs. Where are the dogs? Because she hasn't been showing them a lot or even talking about them. And she's ignored all of those questions as well. A viewer reached out to me. They said they watched the video, the house tour video before she took it down. And they saw Bailey laying on the floor in the video. They also said Love Meg was excited about going shopping at Goodwill and she wanted viewers to stay tuned for lots of homemaking content. So it seems like at the time they filmed this video, they still had plans on making content. Love Meg uses the video platform Uscreen, which is not free for the creator. The creator has a monthly fee, and a lot of people think Love Meg just can't afford that fee every month. I'll show you a screenshot of their plans. The growth plan is $200 a month, plus you have to pay 50 cents per subscriber. They also have a $99 monthly plan as well. I don't think she has that many subscribers. I think that's pretty obvious because if she had a lot of subscribers, I think she would continue to put out videos, you know? Anybody can pop up a cleaning video. We all clean our house. In my opinion, I don't think she has enough monthly subscribers 
in order to pay for the monthly fees and to make it worth her time to continue to put out content. Even when they were traveling, they didn't post as much content as they said they would post. You know, they promoted this website and their Instagram account saying, we're travelers, we're digital nomads, we're going to post all of this traveling content, it's going to be so great, subscribe for our videos. And their content pretty much died. They went silent on social media for weeks at a time. Currently, the new home tour video is still down. We cannot view that. Love Meg went private on Instagram. Justin is still public. And this morning, they posted a goodbye video. Here's the thumbnail. It's almost 14 minutes long. It says, saying goodbye, we are forever grateful. At 8 a.m. this morning, an email went out to all of her members. This email says, you will never know how much you have meant to me and my family. This journey has truly been life-changing in so many ways, but now we are looking forward to moving on to our next chapter in privacy. Justin and I are forever grateful to you. I get asked from time to time how someone can show their support. In this case, we still have a very limited stock of the Love Meg cleaner still in the warehouse. I would love to sell out of that. Thank you. And she also provided a link to the cleaner, but she sounds like the typical content creator. You know, here's what you can do for me. Here's what you can do to support me. I'm getting DMs from some viewers who say they can't watch the goodbye video. This viewer said, for some reason, it won't play the video even when I go to the website without using the link. It says it's 13 minutes long, but I can't get it to play. The Gossip Bakery has a thread on Love Meg. On this thread, they posted these pictures. So this is a screenshot from the video. As you can see, Love Meg is upset. She's obviously crying, so her face is red and kind of puffy, but she doesn't look the same. You know, she's definitely changed a lot. This is a comment from the Gossip Bakery, just kind of recapping what went down in this video. When the video wouldn't go up, Megan felt immense relief and saw it as a sign from God that they needed to end this chapter in their life. They want to be more private, and that's why they started the site, but crazy people still had access and would contact their Airbnb host while they were traveling. They were worried about safety and not showing their entire house so no one could share their address, etc. She's ending it all. They cried. She's starting another Instagram and making it private for only her friends and family to follow her. They have contacted the site to let them know they are done and refunds will be sent out. They mentioned how they watched the Friends reunion episode the night before and they both kind of compared themselves to Friends and how they reached and affected people the same way. They said all of this was worth it and thank you. I am shocked. I'll admit, I am shocked. This means they have to get jobs outside of social media. And I don't know if I can see Love Meg working at like TJ Maxx or something. She used to be a lifeguard. I think that's the only job she's ever had outside of social media. Justin could go back to being a firefighter. He has a pilot's license. So I'm sure Justin has a job right now. There's no way they could quit social media without Justin having a job. And I wonder if they'll post a goodbye video on YouTube, you know, just to milk it, just to make anything that they can make off of leaving social media. Love Meg and Justin used to talk a lot about certain family members in their life used to talk badly about social media and tell them not to do social media. It's not going to work out. And look what happened. Were those family members right? For years, she's been kind of throwing it in their faces, saying, look at me, it did work. I am successful. I think she was definitely successful for a moment in time, but you see how fast things can change on social media? Never put all of your eggs in one basket. Do you believe viewers were contacting their Airbnb hosts? I guess that's possible. I'm sure viewers have done that before. She didn't provide any proof that I'm aware of. I don't know. It just feels like she's trying to come off as the victim again. Is that the way you want to go out, you know, still blaming other people? I mean, ultimately, if someone did contact the host, 
that doesn't mean you have to leave social media. You know, leaving YouTube, leaving social media was their choice, 100%. And they can't put that on anybody else. I think a lot is going on in their life right now. And of course, they're not sharing it, but it doesn't sound good. I think they're struggling financially. She doesn't have all of those material possessions that she worked for. They practically sold everything when they left. And that house... That house is worth, you know, almost a million dollars now. They will never be able to afford a house like that again. Social media just was not good for Love Meg. I just don't think it was a good fit because she spoke about being heavily medicated at one point and something else I can't say in this video, but you know what I'm talking about. But it just doesn't seem like Love Meg and social media meshed well at all. She didn't seem happy. And I think she faked it for years on YouTube. I think she actually admitted to that in one of her last videos. Being a content creator, a full-time content creator at that is just not for everybody. I truly believe that. I haven't seen the goodbye video. If I come across it, I will share. But what do you think about everything? This is a lot, right? I was not expecting that today, but leave a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.